Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video on MIT App Inventor. In this video, we will be building an application to control the things like LED or relay or other stuff connected to our Arduino board via Bluetooth. So for this, you need to have a Bluetooth module XC05 in Arduino Uno board or any other board uh, which contains the Bluetooth or, mm, or you, you can connect the external Bluetooth with, them, with it. Okay, so let's get started. So now go to this create app. This will open by default. This will open the previously edited or the created created app for you. And uh, now you have to create. You have to go to this project, uh, start new project, and give name, give any name to this. For example, say I'm giving this uh, like my project. Uh, this is my third tutorial video, so I will give this as project three. So or MIT three. MIT3. So this is my third tutorial video on MIT App Inventor. So I'm giving this name as MIT3. Now click on OK. You can change this name later on. Uh, now this is the mobile screen and everything that you add here or the layout that you create will directly reflect to the screen of your mobile phone. So as you already uh, are as you are already familiar with this environment and I'm just you know, quickly inserting the buttons and the things and we will focus mainly on uh, the block or the coding in the back end. Okay, so for this, first of all, we have to just go to this um, layout section and we have to choose an horizontal uh, alignment. Now, click on this, set the width and height to the set default or fill parent. And uh, this is the height fill parent, and uh, this is the width. This is also set to width uh, fill parent now. And uh, I want to set my buttons at the center, so this will be my center. Uh, so top and center okay now once you do this now go to this in user interface and uh, just click on this list picker insert this list picker at the top oh, insert this list picker at the top of your screen not in the uh, horizontal alignment but at the top of the screen okay now click on this screen and uh, Set the alignment to the center and, uh, and I, I mean content position to the center and uh, now click on this and uh, set this name to tab to connect. Tab to connect. Now you can see that this uh, name of our list picker has been changed now. So what we have to do, we need two buttons to, con to control on and off state of our LED or the buzzer or anything that you have connected uh, with your Arduino board. So far now I'm assuming that I have connected my LED to my Arduino board and uh, for this I need to have the two buttons to control on and off positions of this, uh, my LED. So just insert the two buttons in the horizontal alignment and uh, name this as name the two buttons as on and off. So just name the first button as on. Click on enter and uh, set the name for button 2 as off. So this is the simple arrangement, but for the connectivity, you need to have the Bluetooth. You, your app must have the ability or the Bluetooth connectivity to communicate between the Bluetooth uh, device or the Bluetooth module that you have connected with your Arduino board or other controller and, the, and your mobile phone. Okay. So for this, go to this connectivity section and choose this Bluetooth client and insert this over the screen, not in the horizontal alignment, but in but over the screen. Okay, so this is on our screen, not within the horizontal alignment. Now this is okay. Uh, this is done for. Uh, okay, let's just do the few settings for this uh, button uh, height. Sorry, width to set um, fill parent for both the buttons. Okay, must be integral. Okay, okay, okay. So now this fill parent for the button one. And do same for the button two, width to fill parent. Okay. Now, after doing this, our application is uh, interface of our application is now okay. We have also inserted the Bluetooth connectivity in this. But for the communication or the working of this application, we need to have an algorithm which will handle all this stuff in the background. So for this, go to your block section. And first of all, you need to just click on this uh, list picker. And uh, just before clicking, uh, before picking list picker one, adding this, go to the list picker block and select the list picker dot elements. Uh, set list picker one dot element. 
okay this is your list picker one dot element section go to the bluetooth and uh, uh, search for the search for this bluetooth client and bluetooth client dot address and name so what will what this will do once you open your mobile app go to the bluetooth section and select your uh, available bluetooth device nearby you this will uh, in the bluetooth settings now when you open this application and click on this button uh, over here when you click on this button over here this will show you the all the available devices that you have connected with your mobile phone are simply the paired devices the devices which are paired with your phone and uh, you have to choose any device which is available or the any address which is available for you now again click on this list picker and go to after picking block when you add this go to the control section and choose if and else if then else okay now after adding this this will do some logical part for us now go to this section and uh, where it is where it is uh, call bluetooth client one dot connect address and uh, go to the label and search for section the single element will appear for the section list picker one dot section okay this is the this is our element if this is connected we will change the uh, label of our this uh, list picker to connect it otherwise this will show that uh, retry our connection failed okay now after doing this go to this uh, con sorry uh, list picker and look for the text section of the list picker uh, we have to change the text of our uh, this list picker element so this is the section that element dot list picker one list picker set list picker one dot text okay so now go to the text section and uh, look for this empty text block and type the text whatever text you want to display on the screen after your device is paired with the bluetooth module so i just want to display that device connected c o n n e c t e d connected so once that connection is established uh, this uh, tab to connect will be con uh, changed to uh, connected okay so now in the else section for example say our connection is not established our connection failed due to any reason we will change the text to retry that means connection failed retry okay so now if the connection is established and we just want to turn on and off the led we need to click on this button one and button two or on and off button so when we click on this on button this must send a message that is on on our um, to our arduino board or the bluetooth device and same for the button 2 or the off button so we have to just go to button 1 when button 1 is clicked okay when button 1 is clicked go to the control section if the device is connected if now go to the bluetooth section search for the, is bluetooth device is connected this is this our element if bluetooth client 1 is connected dot is connected that means if this connection is established uh, again go to this and we just look for the uh, send text okay at this and again go to the this uh, text section and uh, look for this empty text block and insert the text like on okay so now just control c and control v this block and change the name from button 1 to button 2 and rest of the things are the same we just need to change the uh, message from on to off so what this what will happen here when we click on this button 1 this will fetch the uh, address uh, bluetooth addresses and the name of devices that has been paired are the paired devices that has been paired with our uh, mobile phone okay so once we choose any address from there and if the connection is established with this particular with that particular device our this uh, label of our list picker will be get changed to connected and if after selecting the block or the bluetooth address and connection is not established between the two or by default you are somehow you chose a wrong uh, bluetooth uh, address that is available and this will uh, show that retry that means connection is not established you have to try again and after the connection is established when we click on this button one this will look for the connection if the connection is established this will send a text to our bluetooth uh, connected bluetooth device and the text message will be on 
and same will happen for the button 2 which is off and the text message will be off for button 2 so, so okay this is for our uh, like the application you also know that uh, after just for checking we use ai companion and if you need the uh, like bluetooth i uh, just want to download this application you have to just click on this build and you can build this uh, this application in these two formats